every week we do college football picks against the. Uh, we do college football picks with a celebrity guest, um, a guest picker every week. We've had the likes of Greg Howard from the New York Times, noted author uh, Jeff Perlman. We've had Bun B, the uh, the Trillo G has hopped on with us. Um, who else has has done this with us? Well, Bun B is by Bun far. Is, Bun B is the is Bun B is, is the bar. Yeah. Bun yeah. B because he created the word trill, which yeah, is that's true. Pretty that's great. True. We are now happy to be joined, Max, on the phone line for our guest, celebrity guest, college football picks. Mm-hmm. One of the most decorated athletes ever. in America ever, ever? maybe. Probably. A four-time Olympic gold medalist, a four-time, uh, a nine-time WNBA All-Star, and most importantly, the host of Between Two Birds on That's YouTube. True. That's true. We are joined by Sue Bird. Hi, Sue. Hi. How, how are you guys? How are you? I mean, great. You mentioned Between Two Birds, so mm-hmm. yes. I'm feeling pretty the good The only it. internet show more popular than ours. That is 100% <laughs> true. If you're, if you're not familiar with yeah. it, uh, can you give our audience a little bit of an intro into exactly what Between Two Birds is? Uh, um, well, it's kind of self-explanatory in the title. Sure, sure. We sit between two birds, but mm-hmm. it's a, a playoff of um, Between Two Ferns mm-hmm. with Zach right. Mm-hmm. Galifianakis. So, uh, That's exactly yeah. how it's pronounced, actually. Yeah, exactly how it's pronounced. Um, so, yeah, I have some, you know, I, we've only done a couple episodes. It's, it's mostly my team, mostly all of my teammates. Mm-hmm. But they had no idea what they were walking into, and, and it's just very <laughs> deadpan and, you know, mm-hmm. trying to have fun with it. Are you, you play, you're, you play for the Seattle Storm. Are you the, are you the funniest member of the Seattle Storm? I'd like to think so. Mm-hmm. I'm also the oldest, so I think uh, it's a couple of the age. Experience, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Exactly. Got it. Now, They've never, half of them haven't seen something about Mary, so that just puts what? me on a different level right off the bat. What kind of monsters are you hanging out with? Oh, <laughs> 21 year olds. Okay. You know. Well, that's yeah, true. I guess that's we true. have <laughs> talked about this, uh, about the generational gap that she deals with on a daily basis. So I want to bring this yep. up because you do have a connection to our producer, Max Thompson. Um, yes. You, you know. Uh, you know his wife, who is uh, wonderful mm-hmm. and has totally wonderful, and has taken pity on on Max yes. by by marrying. Him. Yes, can you sure. explain their relationship? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, last time we hung out, it was it was over beers and burgers. So mm-hmm. I just feel like they they know exactly mm-hmm. how to make each other happy, which was right. very sweet to see. Now, in my opposition research, I've noticed that you um you are you are a foodie. Right, you oh, yeah. you have a. Um, you, would you consider yourself a foodie? I don't know if I go that far. I like food though, okay. and she has I live in Seattle, opinions, though. so yeah. I have, yes, strong food opinions. Okay, yeah. it, but you are you are also bi coastal because you are the pride of Queens, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> and, and yet you also and yet you also now work and live and play in Seattle. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. Oh man, where's the better food? Oh God! Um, no. You thought you thought this was some softball interview? <laughs> yeah, seriously, Just throwing all kinds of curveballs. Um, right. I'm gonna go Seattle because I've yeah. spent like Ooh. my adult years here. Okay. When I was in yeah. living in Queens, it was like Mario's Pizza and Italian Ice. That mm-hmm. was gourmet. So that's pretty much I gotta true. Go Seattle. Yeah. Okay. You go. I mean, but Mario's Pizza and uh, Italian Ice could compete with anything. Okay. That right. There. I was gonna say like, but at the same time, does any of the pizza come close there? No, not even yeah, like say. in the same. Yeah, no. Okay, no, so that, that, that that's important. I think that that it, for different for different genres of food, if you yes. will, you may right. have different opinions. Uh, this is right. where I have to insert my question yes. because if I don't do this, I might be divorced by midnight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sue, I mean, no, no, no. To be fair, <laughs> you still might, <laughs> still might. This might not save me. Absolutely, this might not save me. Go on with your question. All right, my question, Sue. Sue met my wife because my wife was her Pilates instructor. Sue, professional athlete. How amazing is Pilates? Oh, so amazing. Right? I'm not even joking. It's like 100%. I, I was kind of at a crossroads in my career. I needed to change some things. And when Pilates got added to the to the regimen, it totally changed everything. So then, I got to give Carrie some huge props. She's amazing. And follow-up question. Yeah. How much better is Pilates with an instructor as amazing as my oh, wife? Oh, my Lord. Oh, 10 times better. Right? <laughs> yes. when people, yeah, when the instructors are boring, it changes the entire – you know, session. So with Carrie, it was just all we talked about. Matter of fact, was restaurants, Max, yeah. and like the important things. Know, the the yeah. Kimmy Schmidt show. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Adventures yeah. of you brought me yeah. back. Yeah, yeah you <laughs> brought me back. That's fine. 
Yes, yes. Uh, 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 Unbreakable, Unbreakable Kimmy, Kimmy Schmidt. Schmidt. Unbreakable, yeah. With the greatest earworm theme music of all time. That's true. <laughs> um, and, and so I do want to ask you a little bit about basketball. That is kind of what you do. Mm-hmm. Um, you are a, a four-time Olympic gold medalist. You won an Olympic gold medal in Athens, Beijing, uh, London, and then Rio this past year. Yeah. So you have the four gold medals. How I often do. do you just wear them around, <laughs> just like in public, <laughs> just to just to scoreboard people? Um, never. Never. Am I disappointing you? Yeah, never. That's not true. She was wearing I them all the them first time I met her. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When when do you break them out? Um. Real like very rarely. Only yeah. when like yeah requested. Man, and I don't yeah. think all four I've ever been in the same room. So. Wow. Are you just yeah. like handing them out like as tips? <laughs> I yes. mean, I'm all for people touching them. I feel like people, you know, really grew out on gold medals. So anytime they want to handle them, go ahead. Uh, there you go. That's fair. She okay. is Sue Bird. She is a nine-time WNBA All-Star, one of the greatest women's basketball players, uh, one of the greatest basketball players, period, yeah, period. Uh, ever. Uh, we are now going to get to the uh, important she, part. She is. She's actually. It's funny. She was texting me earlier. Yeah. And she was telling me that she is uh, locked in. Yeah. She is absolutely. guaranteeing a perfect run here. Yeah. On these college football. College picks. football picks. She's an expert. She's an expert. Yeah, absolutely. Self proclaimed expert. She talks about every day on her Twitter. Uh, let's go to the standings. The standings right now still in the lead at five and zero. Greg Howard of the New York Times. Aaron Hardigan of Fox Sports Southwest last week went four and one. That's true. Very impressive. Yeah. Jeff Perlman, author, uh, went uh, four and one in uh, in week three. Bill Conley, the actual college football expert, yeah. went three and two with his picks. Eric yeah. Adelson of Yahoo Sports yeah, three and went two. and week he went three and two and still uh, still. Bring up the rear. Still bring up the rear. Atlanta Berry, Internet Sorcerer, uh, yep. week two. So <laughs> now WNBA All Star and Superstar Sue Bird. We will start with a game that this does not count towards the standings, but I understand that this was part of the demands that you made to come. Oh on yeah, the show. demands absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Connecticut travels to play South Florida on Saturday. I wonder who she'll pick. I mean, of course, the Huskies. <laughs> oh wow. We, we usually play well in warm weather. So. Right. Is that true? Absolutely. I'm an expert. Sure. So. She's an expert. You, just you listen to it. You don't even have to question it. I'd, Come on. That's true. That's Actually, the backstory behind this whole thing is I have tried to get Sue to do this when UConn plays Houston. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she's always really busy, Thursday. which is totally understandable. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, or Carrie tells her just to ignore me. And that's fine, too. <laughs> um, so we tried to get her earlier this year when UConn played Houston. For the record, Sue, even though UConn, or even though Houston won that game, you're still picking UConn in that game? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Got it. Even right. now. Okay. Got Just want to make sure. Got it. Okay. Let's get to the the games that she feels so confident about. We will start. Yeah. Uh, six o'clock down in Houston. UTSA travels to take on Rice. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a big fan of Rice. Mm-hmm. Um, generally, when I'm eating it's Thai delicious. food, so we're going to go yeah. rice. Okay. Okay. We're going with carbs. Fair. That's carbs. That's, yeah. The pick here. That's a solid yeah. strategy. If it was brown rice, it would be a guaranteed oh, winner. Oh, but yeah, that's a good ooh, point. I don't know. See, I'm gonna have to. Since it's just university. Yeah. Since I it's just rice university, we'll go rice. Yeah. I think Carrie's feeding you these lines now because yeah, brown rice is the worst. <laughs> All right, let's go down to Austin, 6 o'clock Saturday night. The Texas uh-huh. Longhorns welcome in Max's Iowa State Cycles. Woo! Ooh, that's a tough one. I know, right? Yeah. It's at Texas? It's at Texas. It's at Texas. I mean, come on, hook them. Yeah. All right, yeah. hook them. Yeah. You yeah. heard it here first. Yeah, she knows. Uh, this game is at, this is the 2.30 game. Is that right, Max? Yes, I don't 2.30 have p.m. Saturday. 2.30 p.m. Saturday at McLean Stadium in Waco. Number 11 Baylor welcomes in the Kansas Jayhawks. I swear to God, if you pick Kansas, I'm going to be so mad. Kansas? No! Oh, because love it. <laughs> I have a friend who's the strength coach of the men's women's basketball team. So uh, I feel like okay. that connects it to the football team. Mm, that's and fair. And then they must win. Okay. Uh, okay. You know what? That's logic I can't go against. Taking Kansas fine. over yeah. Baylor. Uh, and I like their colors better, to be honest. Well, fair. Mm. Okay, all right, mm. whatever. Uh, 11 a.m. out on the South Plains of Lubbock, Texas Tech welcomes in number oh, 20, West Lubbock. Virginia. Lubbock. Well, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you ever yeah. been to Lubbock? I have been to Lubbock. What? Actually. I've really? also been to Morgantown. Oh, and because wow. of that, former Big East school, I got to represent, even though we're not in the Big East anymore. So That's I'm going to go West Virginia. Do That's you fair. long for the days of the Big East in the same way that we long? You have for the no days? idea. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that just, it, did that no break idea. your heart? It, oh my, it still does to this day. Okay. I went to the last two uh, Big East tournaments at Madison Square Garden, and you it's did. like a bucket list thing that I will never forget. Yeah. yeah. And I've finally, 
finally, the final pick for Sue Bird, mm-hmm. basketball superstar. Tulsa travels to take on number 13, Houston. The This is an American Athletic Conference class. You are, of course, very familiar, I'm sure. Sue Bird, your pick, Tulsa and Houston. <laughs> H-Town. All oh, right. Yeah. She's she going with H-Town. She's going to nail these picks. The picks for WNBA superstar Sue Bird, right, uh, UConn over South Florida. Duh. Duh. Uh, Rice Duh. over UTSA, Texas over Iowa State, Kansas over Baylor, West Virginia over Texas Tech, and Houston over Tulsa. She is Sue. Is. She is Sue Bird. She has four more gold medals than Max and I will ever have combined. <laughs> you can follow her on Twitter at S Ten Bird and is it's SueBird dot com, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I think it's SueBird Ten dot com. SueBird Ten dot com. There you go. Go to that website. Sue, appreciate your time. You're I awesome, know, Sue. I know Thank you're busy. You. And um, thank you. And please continue to give Max hell. Yeah. Of course. And I think I have like one more gold medal than you two will ever have combined. That's wow. You don't even have to put the four in there. Wow. I bye, mean, right? Bye, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Just, that's, that's, that's not the way I want to enter. No, 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 no. Hang up on her. I'm not going to hang up on her. You're going to have to eat it. Thank you very much, Sue. Thank you, guys. There See she you. goes. Super WNBA All-Star, who is 100% correct. Yes, she has one more. True. What if? Do you ever think? I think about that a lot during the uh, during the uh, the like the Olympics. I'm like, is there something I could take up right now, and be and be an Olympian at some point, and, and be an maybe Olympian. maybe knock out a gold medal? Yeah, she's got I don't, four. probably not. I mean, she's she's legitimately she was on the All Decade team. Like, she's legitimately right. one of the greatest basketball players in this country's history. Like, male or female, <laughs> like it's incredible. Yeah.